guys and welcome to another edition of Petrina Shows. And in today's episode we're going to talk all about tattoos. Specifically answering the question, what does it feel like to get a tattoo on your wrist? If you're someone who's ever wondered, what does getting a tattoo feel like? How much does it hurt? Are tattoos painful? How much does a tattoo cost? What's involved in getting a tattoo? Or any other tattoo related questions? I'm going to try to answer them in this video. And to get started, I'll give you a little bit of my own tattoo history. Before recently getting my wrist tattoo, I did have one already that I got after a bad breakup in my early 20s. Because, you know, what better way to recover from a bad breakup than to have a needle repeatedly jammed into your skin? Am I right? No, but seriously, since it was so long ago, I didn't really remember how it felt like to have the tattoo. I would show it to you now, but it's one of those ever popular in the 90s tramp stamp kind of a thing. It's basically a heart shape made out of red and purple roses. It definitely looks like a 20 year old tattoo. So eventually I'd like to get a cover up with a huge back piece. And if any of you out there watching have any connections to Ink Master, please let them know that I would be a very willing and happy canvas. <laughs> Just putting that out there. So the story behind this new tattoo is I wanted to make something in honor of our youngest daughter. Her first name is Stella, her middle name is Rose. So I thought a really cool thing to do would be to get a beveled star with a rose and a pretty banner with her name. I first was thinking of getting it on the back of my neck, but since I did want it to be something that I could easily see, I decided on my inner wrist. Tips for anyone out there considering a tattoo, always, always, always check out different tattoo artists within your area. Make sure they're licensed and have been tattooing people, I would say for over five years. Make sure they're reputable and they run a clean and professional studio. Another tip is to have a very clear idea of what you want. Now, I know it can be really easy to go in and just spontaneously want to get a tattoo, and a lot of studios make it even easier with having flash all up on the wall that you can choose from. But since this is a piece of art that's going to be on your body for the rest of your life, I would highly recommend that you give some thought to it and make sure that you're going to be happy with it for the rest of your life. Keep in mind too that there are a number of different tattooing styles. I'm not going to go into every single one here. I will put a link in the description below where you can get to know all the different types of tattoo styles so that if you, let's say, want to have a tattoo of a skull, you'll know exactly whether you want that skull to be an American traditional piece or an entirely different style, let's say geometric, or a more watercolor skull, or something more along the lines of a new school kind of a skull. Another tip I'd give is before you even set foot into a tattoo studio, go to their website and possibly even their Instagram, get a feel of the style of their work, whether or not it you know, fits in tune with the kind of image that you want to have tattooed on your body. The absolute worst thing you can do in getting tattooed is just walking into a shop, not knowing anything about the artists, or having a clear idea of what you even want tattooed, and just picking some random flash item and hoping for the best. Chances are it might not even take a day or two before you wind up majorly regretting your choice. And I hate to break it to you, laser treatment is expensive, and from what I hear, way more painful than getting an actual tattoo. Which brings me to the next big topic, and that is pain. <laughs> wondering how bad does it hurt for someone with a low pain tolerance? Well, the answer is it depends. No matter your level of supposed pain intolerance or how tough you think that you are, getting a tattoo is not likely to be a painless process for anyone out there. Remember, it involves someone using a rapidly moving needle to inject ink into your skin. Now, having said that, you know, the pain level can vary not only based on your own personal pain tolerance, but the placement of the tattoo. Generally speaking, any area that's, you know, bony 
bonier than others or were the needles more likely to come into contact with a bone like let's say your rib area that's definitely going to hurt more than it would if they're tattooing let's say a thigh and I can say from personal experience that some areas like the inner part of your wrist can really psychologically mess with your head while you're getting the tattoo because instinctively you know that it's a very vulnerable area on your body so while you're having your arm extended you feel as if you should be protecting that wrist when the artist first gets started on your tattoo having said that even though I consider myself to be a person with a fairly low pain tolerance I barely flinched while getting this wrist tattoo which I think not only surprised me but the artist himself because with a beveled star there's a lot of very precise line work and actually filling in the black portions of the beveled star he even did I hope you can see like flex of black throughout to make the banner seem more like a aged kind of paper which I thought was really neat. I did not find getting my inner wrist tattoo too painful. The sensation is really weird. It's almost as if you're being stung repeatedly but there was something about like the thrum of the equipment and the noise there and also you know the music playing within the studio itself that took my mind off of it and made me feel a lot more comfortable. And no they weren't playing like classical music or Enya. It was more heavy stuff but I still found it uh, distracting from what was going on with my arm. Let me give you a better look of what it looks like with the arm extended. I picked a Lucia font which makes the S look a little bit difficult to read but I really loved uh, the feminine angles of the Lucia font. I love my tattoo. It's a fairly you know decent size. It took the artist about a little over an hour to do it. I wanted to note too that if you are someone going in for a tattoo and maybe you think that you're gonna be able to simply walk in and get one. If you're going to an established tattoo parlor, a walk-in situation is probably not going to happen. And it didn't happen with me. I came in, I got to speak with the artist briefly and, and share with him what my concept was. I made an appointment to come in and get it done. I just came in at the appointment time, he showed me the outline, I approved it, and they'll affix it to whatever area you're getting tattooed and like very carefully peel it off and then begin their work. Tattoo costs can really vary based on, you know, not only where you live, but the size of the tattoo, the placement of the tattoo, how much color is going to be used in your tattoo, all of that jazz. Most tattoo places will take payment in cash only, so don't be surprised about that. And you will likely be required to put a deposit down in order to book the appointment. The wrist tattoo that I got cost me $140. And while I was there, I also asked about getting a full length sleeve. I eventually want to get a phoenix with cherry blossoms along my arm. And I was told that in order to get something like that done, it would likely take about six sessions where you'd have to wait at least two weeks in between sessions for your skin to heal and it would cost about $3,400. So mama needs to save some money or maybe be a canvas on Ink Master. I, I would literally beg for a spot. Truth be told, I'd eventually like to get inked in a lot of different spots just because I think tattoos are really beautiful and there are some crazy amazing artists out there. I definitely think that any pain that's involved with getting a tattoo is completely worth it when you're working with a talented artist and having a piece of art done that is meaningful to you and looks beautiful on your body. I've given birth twice and I've got to say on the pain scale childbirth is way 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 above the pain of getting a tattoo. So if it's thought of pain that's holding you back I'd say chill out, breathe, find a great artist, and go. Getting a tattoo may not feel like a blissful massage but the pain is not that bad in the grand scheme of things and you should have a great piece of art on your body to show for it. That's my two cents. If you're someone who loves tattoos go ahead and click that like button below and if you'd like to see more videos from yours truly go ahead and ring that bell below. If you've got a tattoo story or tips and advice go ahead and share it in the comments below. That's what they're there for. Don't let them be all empty and lonely. And that about wraps it up for this week, guys. As always, take care and have a great week. Bye-bye.